Dear friends, colleagues and fighters for freedom of speech, my name is Viktor Stoev and I'm Salton's press officer and I'm also a member of Salton's steering committee. I'm reaching out to you today because of what is going on in the past few days. A lot of you may know, but Salton has been censored by both Facebook and YouTube, where our huge audience is now unable to see any of our content. Our page on Facebook was deleted and our YouTube channel uh, was deactivated as well. In the past five years, Southern has been covering the situation in the Middle East and we've also covered uh, growing military and political developments all around the world. These are all sensitive topics. We believe that each and every one of us should have the right to express his opinion regardless of his personal views, whether they fit the mainstream media, whether I personally or anybody else from the team believes in it or not. Freedom of speech is a universal human right and it should be like that. Yet what we're seeing is a growing number of cases where online media and online outlets just like ours have been actually censored because we are not fitting um, the, the, the MSM's criteria for what is right and what is wrong. And I cannot believe less in those mainstream media after these growing tendencies uh, in our world. First of all, to each and every one of you that has contributed to our project or has been helping us via donations, thank you. Your growing support is helping us live and get through this crisis. But I want to make this appeal to each and every one of you, whether you agree with us or not, whether you believe in our analysis or not, whether you like what we do or not, freedom of speech and freedom of pluralism and pluralism of opinions has to be defended. Our ancestors were fighting for hundreds of years so that they can express freely their opinion. We know it's all sensitive topics. We completely believe this and we know it. We acknowledge this. Yet, YouTube for sure didn't have any right to ban our accounts because we were strictly following YouTube's guidelines, fork and community standards. The same could be said for Facebook. We had over 150,000 uh, page likes on our page and almost 200,000 subscribers uh, on all of our YouTube channels that are now banned. M almost 2,000 videos, I think it was about uh, um, 1,900 videos and 60 million views are now gone because somebody decided that we are messing up with, uh, with their community standards and uh, five years of work are now shattered because they just don't want media like ours to live and to be present and the people to have different opinions and show their different points of view. Internet has to be um, has to be balanced, it has to have pluralism of opinions and uh, YouTube and Facebook as the biggest social media out there and the biggest outlets where you can distribute information, it's not really fair <laughs> to have this growing censorship. We don't see this if you are um, supporting the mainstream media, you won't see any of the censorship. So what I'm appealing to each and every one of you, share this message, fight for your freedom of speech. Share what's going on with cell phone, what is going on with other alternative media. We've all, we know that it's sensitive topics. I don't always agree with what's uh, been posted on our website. I don't agree with the opinions and that's totally fine. Just like other people will not agree with my opinion and that's totally fine. But I will fight until the end so that each and every one of us has the opportunity to say what they believe in, to give arguments about it and to share it with others. I don't think that we've breached any community standards. I don't believe that we've done any harm, just vice versa. Our project is an example about how people can just unite together and show and express their opinions. For over five years, we've been working only through your donations. Only your donations have been keeping us alive. We don't get any government funding. We don't get any corporate funding. And each and every one of us are volunteers. And we work day to day to day so that uh, we can give you uh, different kinds of content, uh, different points of views, 
different opinions we want to ask questions our platform you can ask questions you can uh, show different opinions you can raise awareness you can raise questions that the mainstream media will never do because they're either government funded or they're corporate funded all of this has to stop all of the censorship has to stop in this world crisis the last thing we need is to forfeit our democracy and to forfeit our basic uh, and fundamental rights for freedom of speech and pluralism of opinions if we don't fight together today that means that uh, on the next day tomorrow or next week this will be your media this will be your channel you may not believe in what we say you may not like what we say but our idea is to have pluralism of opinions and that's it so my appeal to you is stand together fight together share this message because if we are not united together right now tomorrow none of us will be able to say what we believe in that's from me thank you everybody who has been supporting us through those tough times and in the past five years to anybody, to everybody that has donated to our channel, to each and every one of you that has made contribution, that has written articles, sent us materials, given us even more information, given us insight. Thank you to each and every one of you and we'll stay strong and we'll continue to fight until uh, um, against the censorship. Thank you.